You guys are so lucky to have this young man. You are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we are lucky to have you both as well. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just glad we're in a position where we can help you, brother. Good afternoon guys, good afternoon. I'm a day late, I'm a day late. We postponed our trip because I was so bloody hungover from celebrating PMI. <laughs> what a day. Um, we're here. We have just arrived in Bandon. Bandon is just on the outskirts of Muang Puang. Um, never videoed much coming up here because it's just dry and dusty and a lot of highway. Pretty boring. Nothing to see. Nothing to see there. Um, we've just stopped here to grab a bite to eat. All we got to do is go and check in now. Uh, we're just going to be staying in the township of Mwang Fawang for two nights. Um, and then Sunday, Monday, we're booked in along the... Nam Leek River, right on the river there, see what that's like in and around that area, but just for the first two nights, uh, we'll stay in the town, going to check in and see Mr. Chua this afternoon in a few hours, so um, how busy is this little corner now? Well it is, be my, and as you've seen, how busy getting onto the freeway was. Have a bit of a squeeze, a bit of a Captain Cook along here, and um, yeah, restaurants sprung up everywhere along here now. And of course, people still celebrating Pimei. Yep, here they are, celebrating Pimei there. I'm going to get wet if I keep walking, I think. So we will be heading out there in a couple of days. Hey, so deep, you mate. Hello. Look at that. That's what we stopped for. Okay guys, this is where we're staying. The markets are just one block over there, one house block over the main road. And our bloody staircase. <laughs> Check out these stairs. All full up the normal rooms. We've got the VIP room here. So yeah, about $18, but my bed, my bed. Nini's Nini's bed. Okay, because I have mirrors. Nice cute little bathroom. No wasted space there. But they usually do. What have we got a view of? A nice view of a roof and bloody Huawei and Vivo signs. Nice. Don't think the bridge is fixed. I 
these last few didn't sound real good, did they? Because that water looks all right down there. Okay, it's going to be about a half hour of bumpy dry road. Let them go rather than feeding them dust. Have it, yeah, be mine. We have just arrived. This is Mr. Chua Goals. For you who don't know, I didn't know if you guys would be celebrating be my yeah. or not. Uh, it's good that you do. I've been partying here and there. <laughs> yeah. Ah, the new new, new tables and benches. Yeah, got new tables because uh, since the last time. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Sabadi. <laughs> Yeah. How, how is everybody? How are you? Well, good. You are fine. Who, who remembers my name? <laughs> what is your name? What, what is your name? Is Come on. I'm on. I'm on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, these are good. Yeah. It's better than the last one. If you guys remember, the the tables and chairs were just made out of tree limbs in that last time. So, uh, with the help, the generosity of subscribers and that who follow both myself and Mr. Chua he has been able to purchase um, these new desks and I've seen you all sitting here having a party through yeah. the week yeah okay very good <laughs> very good I heard that you you're trying to raise money yeah. to to build your own yeah. classroom school and we Last time we already got some money and we bought the land over there. You, I, oh, that's right, you did too. Yeah, so you've purchased the land with the donation and the support from um, this, your subscribers. And yeah, that's very good. So I've seen that you had a GoFundMe page, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Right. He has does have a GoFundMe page. He's trying to raise money so he can build this school now. On the land that he has purchased with the money you guys have donated in the past so I'll put it in the link below I did not know you had a GoFundMe page yeah, I, uh, if I had known <laughs> I would have I would have promoted it earlier I, I got a brother from US and he helped me Dow I seen that yeah. yeah yeah thank you so much Dow yeah I will I will um, put it in the the links to these videos coming up so anybody wanting to support Mr. Chua and the good work he's doing with these students, um, link to the GoFundMe page below. So, thank you very much. Um, also, I have a son, Julian. 
and he has been following ever since we first came up here and when I told him I'm traveling back up here and he, he heard that you were trying to build a school you know raise money he's in Melbourne and he's into the I don't know if you you know what a punk is punk scene it's they have weird hair they're, they're very very loud looking people but very respectful and generous and what he done was arranged an outdoor concert gig and hit, and through the contributions of the punk scene in Melbourne and all his friends and that they have raised you 520 Australian dollars to go towards your school so he would like to donate that to you I've got it here in an envelope I'll give to you later today from my son Julian and all your friends mate thank you very much you guys in Melbourne thank you man it's so humid up here just a bit of background for those who um, did not see the first video which you can catch up here you can catch it up there a bit of background on Mr. Chua Mr. Chua he's only in his early 20s and he teaches three classes every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Small children, medium children, and teenage classes. Three classes, three times over the weekend for nothing. He does this out of the goodness of his own heart. Something just jumped on me. But um, does not get paid for it. It is just something he wants to do to help the village. And that is why we are so helpful to him. Um, last time we came here, they were just sitting on old makeshift tables and chairs made out of tree limbs. Now he's got new benches and tables for them. He's purchased land to build a school. He really wants to teach these children English here. Yes, they do learn a bit of English at the school, which is just in here, but the good he is doing for these children is going to help them so much in the future. So, um, how many early 20 year olds give up every weekend or year of their life just to teach the children in their village? Admirable, isn't it? It's very inspiring. So, and it is very good to see that the money a lot of my supporters and he's getting his own supporters now too he's got a youtube channel which he um, showcases the his life his farm and that here and what he's doing for the village so he can continue to afford to do this you know and he really wants to become a teacher and have his own school and things like that so it is really good to um see where the money is going and he is spending it in the right places isn't it a picture out here it is a bit smoky because it is slash and burn season at the moment they still do that here but yeah this is just his house he's a farmer this is his farm truck he was out farming today comes home friday he's out in the farm monday to friday comes back Friday afternoon and goes back to work three classes Friday three classes Saturday three classes Sunday afternoon yeah, so we really appreciate for all the help and our brother Julian and stuff yeah and your brother Don's son right yeah yeah, yeah so he we is we really appreciate for that and yeah we have nothing to give you back <laughs> <laughs> mate you <laughs> don't, that's not why we yeah. do it you know yeah, what we, you are doing yeah, we are trying we are tr i will try my best to help all the students to they like, get to grow one step so they can move to a better education yeah yeah, yeah. no you know, you you do have a lot of fans out there for what you are doing for the mong community tour yeah. <laughs> it's very you. admirable mate Who's happy I'm here? The small girl and small boy. The, and the medium is okay. I'll, I'll ask again, guys. Who who is that? Who is happy I'm here? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you haven't taught them that sentence yet. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, no. I'm just going to reverse the car in because we have something for these children and um, I'll leave that with you if you, if you want to just say Comment. something to the stu students. Yeah. Just be. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give you a hug. 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 New York, I'm going to give you a hug. I'm going to give you a hug. Hello, Sabaydi. Hey, this is my brother. Brother. Chief of Village. <laughs> Nini's in charge of this. I've, I've let her take control there. So we're arranging them. Smallest, smallest children. He's pretty small. He he, he wins. <laughs> smallest to biggest. You choose. She mightn't like either. <laughs> teen girl. Uh, teen girls again. May, may, maybe if some of them want to take the shirt out just to make sure it will fit them. Does she want to change? <laughs> Is every everybody happy? Thank you. That's okay. I, I'm glad we could help. Yeah. There, there's a lot of people who um, are really enjoying seeing what you are doing for the Hmong community and especially the future of this village. You, you guys are so lucky to have this young man. You are. <laughs> and we are lucky to have you both as well. That's okay. I, I'm just glad we're in a position where we can help you, brother. Be, besides books like these and... Um, what else do the children really need to, yeah. for you to teach them successfully? You know, is there anything they're lacking? Yeah, so, actually, we, like, we need to build a, like, a bigger classroom. For, yeah, for yeah. Them. Yeah, because we have many students and many... And we also, like, many children are coming to us for joining the class, right? But we say, I said that. Sorry, we don't have any more space. So you've yeah. you've had a lot more children yeah. since last time yeah. want to come and learn. Yeah, and we don't have any space for them. So I'm just say sorry, can we <laughs> have a rest for? Right. Yeah. Months. So you yeah. really yeah. need that that yeah. extra space in classroom yeah. and classroom really to be able to help. Okay. All the Mr. Chewers contact details are going to be below in the description. The GoFundMe page and Mr. Chua's Facebook page if you'd like to join that and of course his YouTube channel. Don't forget to join that because that will help him out greatly in the future also. So um, all those links are below guys. Um, so if you do want to get in touch with Mr. Chua directly, go through his Facebook page and just message him there. You, you, you reply to everybody don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's got a lot of subscribers and friends through, uh, from my channel, my page, from doing that. So uh, thanks a lot, guys, for helping out. Much appreciated.